Did you wonder if there is a way to have multiple instances of Roblox open at the same time? Don't worry. In this guide, I will show you how to do just that. For example, I can have multiple accounts open for AFKing and grow a garden to get those sweet mutations, and I also use an auto clicker so I don't get kicked for being AFK. Let's get into it. Before we continue, there's something you'll probably need to tweak on your computer, or else this method won't work. Start by opening the Windows Task Manager. You can find it by searching for it in the Start menu. Then go to the Performance tab and click on CPU. Near the bottom, you should see whether virtualization is enabled. If virtualization is disabled, you'll need to change a setting in your BIOS. To do that, shut down your computer, then turn it back on, and immediately start pressing the Delete or F12 key repeatedly. This should open the BIOS menu, which may look different depending on your system. On my older laptop, for example, it looks completely different from my main PC. Once you're in the BIOS, look for the Advanced tab or something similar, then find CPU configuration, or it could be under Security Options. The exact name may vary. What you're looking for is a setting called Virtualization. If you're using an Intel processor, it should be called Intel Virtualization Technology. If you're using AMD, it may be called SVM, or Secure Virtual Machine. Make sure this setting is enabled. Then, save the changes and exit the BIOS. I'll leave the official Bluestacks instructions in the description in case you run into any issues. That's it. Now your computer is ready to emulate. Now, first go to Google and search for Bluestacks. Just open the first link, and the download button should be right there. After downloading, find the executable file in your downloads folder and install the Android emulator like this. Essentially, what we can do here is run as many emulators as we like, depending on how capable your computer is, and have multiple instances of mobile Roblox games. Don't worry, you can still use keyboard and mouse input on them. Now, the emulator will start and the App Store will open up. You can close it with these buttons up here. I suggest first going into settings here so we can tweak how many cores and how much RAM our instance uses. Since we will be trying to run as many instances as possible, and AFKing in Roblox games doesn't require 60 FPS or high power consumption, let's allocate just one or two cores, about 2 GB of RAM, set the FPS to 30, and make sure to select low memory performance mode. Before we continue, also open the Google Play Store and download Roblox. You will need to log in with any Google account. Now just search for it, download it, and here we go. But before we get to the last step, did you know that a game like Grow a Garden was originally made by just a single developer? It's crazy how far you can go once you start learning to code, and our sponsor, Boot.dev, makes that journey a lot easier and more fun. Boot.dev helps you learn back-end web development from start to finish using Python, Go, or other programming languages. And the smartest way to learn to code is to never be bored, so you actually stick with it and reach your goals. As you can see, the website is super well-designed and honestly fun to use. Personally, I really like how clearly everything is explained, how they help you set things up, and what really impressed me were the video tutorials, like this one here. It's short, packed with info, and really well edited. You can tell a lot of care went into making even a tiny tutorial like this. The truth is, you can't learn to code without writing code and building real projects, just like you do on the job. And the payoff? According to Stack Overflow, the median salary for back-end developers in the US in 2024 was over $100,000. All of Boot.dev's content is free to read and watch in guest mode, but with a paid membership, you unlock all the interactive parts, hands-on coding, AI help, progress tracking, and even game mechanics that keep you engaged. So if you've ever thought about learning to code, now's the time. Click the link in the description and use my code GAMESTEED to get 25% off your first month or your entire first year if you go with the annual plan. Now, let's get to the last step of our emulator guide. Okay, now for the last step, click on this button that says Multi-Instance Manager. You probably also have a desktop short Shortcut for it. We can close the current emulator. Now, in Multi Instance Manager, click on the Clone Instance button. Let's set the same parameters here one or two cores, two gigabytes of RAM, and low memory performance mode. Type in the number of Roblox accounts that you want to run simultaneously, not including this one. So I will set three more. This will create three identical copies of the current instance we just had. Now we can select all and click Start. As you can see, four emulators will open up. They can be a bit glitchy and laggy when resizing, but try to position them nicely around the screen or split them across multiple monitors if you have a multi-monitor setup. As you can see, all instances have Roblox pre-installed now. You can check Task Manager to see how hard your computer is working, if you are running too many, or if it can handle even more. Now, on each instance, open Roblox and log in with different accounts. Create a private game if you are doing this for Grow a Garden. Make sure all accounts are friends, and just join the same game on all accounts. Great. Now the final step is to get an auto-clicker so you don't get kicked from these sessions for being AFK. A good option for many instances is Tiny Task, but it has a paid version if you want to record many clicks on multiple locations. What I found is an auto-clicker called MultiClicker, which is free and works for four instances. Just search for it and you will find a SourceForge link. Download it. You can just run it by opening the file. No need to install. You might need to allow Windows to run it. 
Now we get this window. I would recommend minimizing the Roblox instances while you are doing this because they can be glitchy. We are going to set our mouse cursor to click on each of the Roblox games so it doesn't kick us out for being AFK. You can set the duration for how often it should repeat this to like two minutes, but for demonstration purposes, I will set it to 20 seconds. I would also suggest selecting double click for each of them since when you click on the emulator, it first makes it active and then adds an additional click just to be sure. Now click get instead of current location and select area. Click where the corresponding Roblox game will be open. For example, I will click the middle of the top left of the screen for this one, middle of the top right for this one, middle of the bottom left for this one, and middle of the bottom right for this one. Now open up all Roblox instances again and use multi-clicker over them. Start all four multi-clickers and you can leave your computer to AFK. I did this for about an hour and as you can see none of the accounts were kicked and that's it. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and leaving a comment. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Boot.dev, who makes these videos possible.